What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video. A couple of days ago I made a video about LumaFusion 2.4 and 2.5 with all the features which is coming in those two updates. Now I don't think we'll see 2.5 this year but I reckon we see 2.4 closer to Christmas. Now if you want to check out all the brand new features which is coming with these two updates make sure to head down to the description below, click on the link there and that will take you directly to that video. Now in today's video we're going to take a look at LumaFusion's UI itself and how I made a brand new UI which is better, more convenient and easier to use when we are color grading. I also added some brand new features to the UI which I think Luma Touch really should look into and implement into either 2.4 or the 2.5 update because this is crucial to make the app even more professional. Now even though we are getting some amazing features in 2.4 and 2.5, this is by far the most requested feature on this channel and that is color grading. So, what I did was to remake the UI. I made it a little bit different. This is a concept and hopefully Luma Touch can implement some of this, if not all, into a future update. So let's move over to the layouts and let's take a look at the changes that I made to make it more convenient for our workflow, especially when it comes to color grading. Now keep in mind it's really important that you share this video if you agree with me and if you agree with all the layout changes that we're going to go through in this video for Luma Touch to easier see it and take it more serious. Now with that said, let's move over to UI number one. Now first let's take a look at this picture right here. This is what LumaFusion looks like right now inside of color and effects. And as you can see there's no histogram, we don't have any vector scope or RGB scopes for peaking in colors. Now let's take a look at the first layout I made for this particular panel here which is inside of color and effects. Now we're going to have a histogram a vector scope here and also the histogram for colors, the RGB panel. Now on the right hand side here, you can also see that we have the curve and this is basically uh, the uh, color grading curve which is uh, used in most other programs. You have this in, uh, in Final Cut, you have this in Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve and you also have this uh, in, let's say for example, inside of a Lightroom. Now this is used to control the contrast, the highlights, the midtones, and it's really really easy to use. If you're familiar with, with something like Lightroom, you know that this is uh, one of the key features when it comes to color grading and color correction and adding uh, that extra spice to your video and to your colors. Now underneath here you can see that we have a new type of design when it comes to the exposure, contrast and highlights and this is of course scrollable. Now here you can also see that we have the button here which will then open up the uh, the curves. So the concept here is when we are tapping on the uh, curves button uh, the curves will open and once we are tapping on that one more time, it will close. So this is a fairly simple concept which uh, could be one of the things that Luma Touch could implement into the future. Now let's move over to the next one. So this is number one and you can rate every single one uh, and the, which, which one you would like to see in a future update by typing the number down in the comment section below. Now on the next one here, you can see it's fairly uh, similar to what you saw in the first one here. When it comes to the uh, color sliders here, this is the original from Luma Fusion, which is currently available there right now. And we also have the um, uh, curves. And when it comes to the histogram here on the top, this is uh, showing both over and under exposure and the same with colors as well. So it basically shows both the over and under exposures of the light and also of the color. So this is concept number two. Now for number three, it's basically the same as number two, but here we have the uh, histogram down underneath the level system. So we basically placed everything at the same side here, which might make it a little bit easier for Luma Touch to pull off something like this. But again, we have a lot of dead space when it comes to above and underneath the previous screen here, so it should be possible to implement something 
inside of that, which we will come back to in another layout towards the end of this video. So now let's move over to the next one here, and this is number four. And here you can see that we have the RGB panels, we have the histogram, and we also have the vector scope. For the sliders, this is basically what's already in color and effects under the uh, uh, color preset tab. Now the concept of this layout right here is that you simply tap on vector scope if you want that to be the biggest one and the most visible one and if you want the RGB panel to be it you tap on the RGB panel which will then switch place with the vector scope and also for the uh, histogram if you want that to be larger you tap on the histogram so that's basically the concept of layout number four. Now, number five, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, uh, the playback screen is, uh, or the timeline is looking great. But here we can see that we have a histogram on the top right corner, which could be transparent, which only shows the waves, or it could fill out the screen uh, completely with the background of it as well. And this can also be placed wherever you want on the screen for the most convenient workflow. It can be small, or it can be large and large with the transparency so you only see the waves. This is something that I think Luma Touch should really implement into the layout of the, uh, the, the workspace that we have on the timeline, call it the front page, because this will make it a lot easier to see where we need to do the correction as we are editing our video instead of moving back and forth between the color grading and color and effects panel and then out to the timeline. So this is something that I think they should look into. Um, would probably not look like this, uh, but just have something similar would really, really make a huge difference. Number six is basically the same sorta thing where you can select from the drop down menu of the source and you can choose if you want vector scope or this entire color grading panel here. So you can see as you play through the video, if there is any point of the video which is peaking when it comes to the colors or highlights or shadows. Now this is something that I really think they should add into Luma Fusion as well, just making it a little bit easier for everyone to do the proper color grading uh, workflow and to have more control uh, over the colors that you want to achieve. Now, this is really hard at this point because we don't have anything like this. Now, let's move over to the final one. And this is how I personally think that the layout within color and effects should look like. Now moving over to the image right here again, this is the basic image of what the color and effects panel looks like right now. And uh, like I said earlier, this is uh, really, really basic and there's not much we can do. We don't have much control over the colors or anything like that. So the way that I really want Luma Touch to uh, correct this and the new features I want to see is of course all the mentioned features which I mentioned in the other layouts as well. But the system and the way that it should be is uh, is something like this. Now here you can see that we have everything on the right hand side. And if we also move the previous screen up, you will be able to put in your LUTs or your uh, color correction presets like you can see here. We have dark contrast, shadow up, vibrance and so on and either above or underneath these uh, presets here, we could have the selected tab where we can select whether we want the presets from Luma Touch or Luma Fusion, or if we want to select the LUT panel for then to swap between those two uh, sections of LUTs and color presets, which is built in to Luma Fusion. And this should also, of course, be slidable. So you simply slide your finger to um, get to either of the sides, whether it's left or right. Now, by doing this and by having this layout right here, we basically have everything that we would need for a proper color correction and color grading system. We have the levels, which is one of the most crucial things I think they should implement. The vector scope is probably the next one. 
And also you have the histogram here and you have the RGB panels. You have the basic sliders as you can see below with brightness, contrast and saturation. And this is also slidable so you should slide your finger down and get further down the section. Now for the um, uh, LUTs and for the uh, color presets which are built in, I think this is by far the best way to put out this layout. Now as I mentioned before, if we take a look at the first picture here one more time, you can see that there's so much dead space on the bottom and on the top of the previous screen. So they should really think about moving the previous screen here to fill it up so it looks something like a more professional looking and also more convenient when it comes to workflow so we can really really get some proper color grading feeling and and features and this is i don't know what to say this is this is the way that it should be and hopefully you guys agree with me as well hopefully you can share this video so it's easier for uh, luma touch to see and to also um, consider this type of uh, layout in the future and hopefully this is something which can be really easily changed and we can see this sooner than later maybe in 2.5. So there you have my seven concept UIs of the color grading section inside of LumaFusion inside of color and effects. Two of them which is from the the front page, you know, the timeline where we are editing the video, just having that histogram there to see the spikes and, and the highs and the lows in, in, in light and colors is really making, making it a lot more convenient when we are editing our videos. Now, I don't know how long it will take to make something like this, but hopefully by sharing this video and uh, giving this video a big thumbs up as well, hopefully LumaTouch can see this video and uh, put this into action so we can get the new features with the new layout as well. Now, I think the last layout, which I showed you with everything lined up on the right side and also the LUTs and the color grading section in the middle here, I think that is the best possible option to have a clean professional looking uh, interface when it comes to color grading. Now this is only my personal opinion though. You might like any of the other UIs which I showed you as well, which is a little bit more clean. Now let me know in the comment section below which UI you prefer and if you want to see any changes to this in the future. Now I hope that we can get the levels, I hope that we can get the vector scope and the histogram, the RGB panel and basically everything which is in the last layout which I showed you, number seven, hopefully we can get the same layout. I would be extremely stoked about that and um, hopefully we can get those features as well, maybe in 2.5 maybe in 2.6. I don't think we're gonna get it in 2.4 because, you know, it's. <laughs> I think it's fairly hard to, uh, to make something like this. Not hard, but I, it takes time. Everything has to work with the uh, works. Everything has to work with the engine and, and uh, you know, they need to get all of these things in. But with that said, Lightroom already have most of these things, so it shouldn't be that hard, right? So let me know in the comment section below what you think and uh, let me know what you think of this video as well. Uh, if it was uh, helpful, did you enjoy it and uh, which layout did you like the most? So with that said, thanks for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video and I'll see you guys in the next video.